look soon at me. Who's out there? Afton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Hold on! Speak to us! Where are you? <laughs> Clinging to life, I should carry him down. Help! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. The Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Hmm, I feel stronger already. Uh -huh. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. You have done it. We must hurry. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that. <laughs> Hold on, we'll find a way through. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Easy now. Something is not right. Give me a hand with this. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. 
Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. Mm. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. And half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl. For battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. Eivor seems to think you deserve pity, so I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacaster, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. He can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringa. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Fell with the rat. Words of poison. this golden drink. You made it! Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. 
He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfur. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? <laughs> Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. Ride like Sleipner's hooves. Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk. The gun. The gods love a fool. Having trouble keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yaw? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the... Prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. What? I'm walking here, shitling. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart.
Eivor the wolf kissed and Halfdan's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishier, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Go, my eyes. Try it, Wolstein. The thing is, it's fresh. I'll cost you more than bread. Things were better than yours. Just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains! Ah! <laughs> 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 
Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halfdan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Halfdan himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. You think you can guzzle the grog? Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Hmm? Here. Take this forgery, and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm, yes, yes. Well... If Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? You know as well as I that we fight for Hafton. Fascinating. You boast loyalty, yet keep secrets from your master. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Faravid should be waiting at Stenweyer. Good to see you. Where are the Saxons? 
We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. <laughs> Afton doesn't know our plan, but he'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Part of its army. Amor, over here! The battle is near. Today you may regain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulf. ...and would make things right by following you this day. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my arm. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every carpool, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Luffy not talk sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. Turn tail and run, back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> The kingdom has spoken! I will have your head, Rishia! Oh, 
aiming to burn us! Extend the ladders! Charge! And may the slobs remember us! open for the coward King Rishir. Of victory! And 
Maurizia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Hold the wall! Sends more picked skulls to my hammer. You meet the spirits this day, traitor. <coughs> Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon. You will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. 
I feel no warmth, only an icy darkness, a, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. But what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends and my allies will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Moira, is Halfdan about? Eivor, welcome! Halfdan has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Come on! I need the challengers! <laughs> What do you see? Half done is not here. Where is he? Drink it down. Go on, steady your balls. Can ask us to shake up? Go on, steady your balls. Can ask her to shake asses with you. Rishi, I struggled to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. Well, I've never danced with anyone before. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. 
I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be. Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my army. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the Corpse Hall.
Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now, it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my- Quiet! Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? 
What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jovik Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good.